complete the draft. Man, oh man, this is going to be tough as the game goes on, right? Because you've got two cores in the PA and the Storm. Very difficult to catch both in the Chrono. Moon Lena is going to be the last pick for Mineski. Quick. And you need to in this lane. Hit one, trying to get aggressive right now. If he was just a little bit further in, he could pop the Vortex, but Moon now has his bottle. There it is. The Telekinesis Skewer back, but not actually into the tower range. Paralyzing the cast. Does a good amount of damage. Ninja Boogie gets pulled back in, though, and might be still chased down as they have the boots advantage inside. Does manage to pick up the first blood. The bash from Nico, baby, just happens a little too late. And he's got to be really careful about his positioning in bottom lane. Ninja Boogie, of course, had such a good performance on that Witch Doctor last game. Just couldn't really close it out. So it's a good start for Secret being able to keep him down. But it is going to be free farm for Nico Baby. Puppy. It seems. They're not able to do too much. Puppy going to drop low here, turned around, setting up the Seder, but he's going to be slowed down by the Enchant, and they don't even need the Seder Shockwave to finish him off. And KP having completely free lane up at top. Raging Potato, he's They're gone find him. right now. The stun flies out first, doesn't have a toss target. Toss away, they're gonna be able to get Gapsor, but he does still have that haste room. He's gonna play in the river, trying to get those high ground shots against Rage of Potato, positioning himself. Good LSA. Now they're gonna try and challenge him. Rage of Potato knows he's dead. They're just hoping to be able to get a kill on Yapsor. The last shot chased him down. Yapsor falls. The supports get traded out. Mid one still has to be careful. He's completely out of mana. Does pop the mango, but the Lena will always favorably trade with you. And you're seeing some pings. He wants him to TP in to refill his bottle. That's what that ping was for. I'm saying, come over here. And then after that, we do have the bounty room spawning up. But this could be one of those situations where the mid laner just camps mid, right? He already is in such an advantageous position against mid one. Maybe you don't need to help out for the side lane. Battle. And you see what uh, Raging Potato is doing? He's yeah. keeping him away from this area so he can't get the free level six. Right. And he's pushing mid one towards this bottom triangle area, which is a lot less efficient to farm because when the creep wave pushes in like this cap, you don't automatically go back to the lane when it's safe. Yeah, you can see mid one already, like he just has to run back to his tower because the push happens so fast from the Lena top lane. Puppy, gonna be slowed down by the avalanche. They do also have that tornado up. Toss the finish him off. Three to two now to the favorite of Mineski with a 2,000 net worth lead. Top CS of the board, all three of their cores. And this ward has spotted mid one going into the jungle and that's why Raging Potato is immediately gonna try to close that gap. What they need to do is Moon needs to push in the lane, he needs to go to the left side, and they need a sandwich. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Mid one. They know he's in this area. They can't allow him to get to the shrine or his level six, but they have this angle perfectly. They spot him with the ward. Just catch him before he activates the shrine. They have a little good to play, throw all your damage. That's it. Mid one's dead. Skewer on out. Zai actually gets very low, trying to go for the power rune that's just about to spawn to refill his bottle. Ninja Boogie knows that though, and he's gonna try and push him away. Doesn't spawn, unlucky. Instead, it goes to top. Let me say, I've seen that move happen to me so many times when I play Storm. That's why I knew it was going to happen. Some support places a ward in your jungle yeah. when you're five and a half, and then they make that play, and you always die to it every single time. Now, Nick, Zai going to skewer him up into the high ground here. Ninja Boogie's just hoping to be able to finish him off. It's going to be close call, but Zai does have the shrine activated. And now Ninja Boogie will slowly but surely die to Yapsor. He's even given the power to speed things up just a bit. Yeah, no boots on the Witch Doctor. Good attempt, but nice outplay as uh, laning phase-wise. Laning phase, and kind of wants that early lead because of how farm-heavy she's going to be with that Empower, too. But now we do have the level 6 on the Storm. Ah, there's going to be the first Chronosphere of the game. Nico Baby, she's going to go for the straight-up kill on his side. The Paralyzing Cast bounces back to him, and they have the Bashes with the Maledict. That should be enough as Walk he has away. no more regen left. Give him the walk away, and let's push down the tower. Moon makes his first rotation over just in time, because they kept the Siege Wagon alive this entire time. This is a sick rotation. Yeah. And meanwhile, they're sandwishing Puppy up at top oh. lane. KP this is level six. It's a very deep dive by them. They are going to get the Fire Blast out onto the Enchantress, but so much pure damage. Doesn't matter how much armor you have, Puppy. KP will tear you apart. I would like them to defend this bottom tower, though. If you can, a secret, it's such a big tower to take. Because it means that Nico, Nico Baby with his next, uh, because they've taken all the side towers out, they can make this play, and they have the counter initiation from Nico Baby. It's gonna pop out with the two man avalanche. Look for the toss away. There goes Rubik. Bye bye. Straight into all the cores of Mineski. Especially missing the LSA. They thought that was gonna be a little bit shy, but they're actually gonna trade out supports here as a result. The Absor gets as much damage as he can, but Raging Potato 
he dies as mid one comes to clean it up and this means the tower will be protected that took a little bit too long or maybe they would have been able to get some time bought for her and that's why they're going to go for the smoke, try to defend this mid tower, maybe even catch out this tiny here. Rage of Potato is going to die, but as Kineski runs down the high ground, are they going to be able to get some sort of opening here? They're going to try and go for mid one. First, who actually got tossed into the air. The RP goes on the lead to make sure there's no follow up on a mid one, but Skewer back into the tower. But Mineski, they have control of this area. They're going to be able to take down the two supports. Maybe Zai will as slow down by KP. A little bit more impetus shots. He actually gets a little bit more vision. One last shot is not going to be enough. The magic stick actually keeping him alive, but it means Mineski do in the fight and do take the tower. Yeah, you saw that both teams have the sicko baby. Because at the same time, they do have the empower on the PA. It's gonna drastically speed up her time. It's haste rune on the ground, mid one. Will grab it here, but the Yule Scepter instantly. LSA, do they have enough damage to be able to burst down the fall of paralyzing cast? That'll be enough to finish off mid one, unless with a Maledict, he has to dodge every single tick and it's just not gonna happen. It doesn't have enough mana. Even with the strength treads, and that's going to put Moon in such a good position. He's got almost 2,000 net worth. They know they're in that triangle area. This ward is still alive. Surprised that Secret haven't found it yet. They had to have known once that bottom tower and that mid tower got taken out, the triangle was going to be the next spot to ward. But instead, they're going to find. They know where he is. Nisha is going to be caught by the avalanche, even though he's blurred up. Laguna going to play to bring him down, too. And he almost had the desolator. LSA is going to be able to catch Zai tossed up in the air to his death. That is rough. He was 400 gold away from that Desolator when he finished up the Ancient stack, and he remains at that number now. And what sucks about this too is whenever you have the Mag on your team, every second that you're dead just feels even worse and worse. Because you know the amount of potential farm that you're losing out on is so significant, and they know that Puppy is there because the ward is still there. Haven't dewarded it quite yet. This is going to be another kill for... Mineski is Puppy. He's really tanky, but will eventually go down. Moon is unstoppable. And he has delivered so far in this series, 6-0 and 3. Conversely, the other Southeast Asian superstar, 2-2 two, two, and 1, might get caught out here as well. Moon of jumping on the Lina. It's so much easier for him to gap close. This is just the awkward part of the game where he doesn't have enough HP and he doesn't quite have the items to be able to just go on her fearlessly. Win probability. Oh, they're going to be able to jump him with Ron of Atos, freshly picked up by KP and the Blink Dagger of Rage of Potato, the last impetus. Brings him down as he skewers away. But now a smoke a up nine from Team deep. Secret, they're going to move to bottom. It's not over till it's over. The crazy part is that Mineski have been getting so many kills around the map without having to use the Chronosphere. So Secret remains scared of them at all times. In fact, so scared that they lose the tier 2 mid. Nico Baby hadn't shown himself until finally he does. He sees the storm tiered up in the top lane. They thought that Nico Baby was behind them at mid. That's why they think didn't challenge, and that's why mid one showed himself at top lane and where he gets caught and where Mineski see the opportunity to push to high They're ground. They're going for high ground right now? They really are. Wow. This is early. No Rocher, anything Zai gonna throw up? They are used. Nico Baby, they don't Can get they the burst cast on the fire blast. He's gonna be able to time walk away while Zai sacrificed his life at a gambit to be able to bring down the carry of Mineski. A buyback, and that's all Mineski wanted to be able to see. Rage of Potato, he may be the sacrificial lamb, but no, Mineski will protect that little lamb. The Rocky boy will get away. He's got a blink dagger up. He's fine. And that was the buyback from Zai. This has been a rough game for Team Secret. There's just no place for them to potential gift, but there's four heroes down here. That's why everybody wants to rotate in. They have a TP on their faces void. They want to bring in more. But Moon, he thinks twice about it. And they take the, the fight without Chronosphere. Is this Invis rune going to be enough an advantage? He's going to bring several smokes. going to be spotted by the sentry. Rod of Atos goes out, but just on a puppy. That shouldn't really matter. So KP, knowing that, retreats back behind this tier one tower. You said that Mineski would fight to defend this tower. But will they win this fight? Is they're going to have to do it without a Chronosphere? Nisha almost dying already. The infinite shot, the last one. It falls all the way and it ends. It nails him, and Nisha follows Puppy. He's going to be eliminated. The Laguna play comes out. Toss away. Yaps are trying to hide in the trees. The telekinesis is hitting Raging Potato. Means they can't find Ace. That usually means that they think that this one hero will carry them in this game. Ninja Boogie probably going to get picked off once again. Ninja Boogie's okay with that. He's had a... The rest of his team... Oh, they were trying to keep him the last worth, hit. But poor Ninja Boogie. Only sitting there at 2,500. I really thought uh, they were trying to give Nisha last hit, and both supports went for it. Nah, dude, they're trying to give the last hit to the real carry. Yeah, Absorb. This Lina is so farm cap. She has triple the enemy mid's net worth. 
And they're just playing four man together. They do manage to run Anisha here. Hit him with the avalanche. Rodimane Toes goes down. There goes the fresh BKB. That's going to be a fire blast. But there's the Chronosphere to be able to control him up. If they actually get these infinites, mid one actually goes through Rage of Potato to be able to finish him off. The skewer and the RP on it too. Mid one sitting on top of him with the fire blast as well. That's going to be the Aegis coming from Nico, baby. But KP is plenty healthy, and that's why he's going to run down Puppy. Secret. It was an okay engagement for them. Got the Aegis out of the hands of Mineski, but it still cost them a hero. Not the worst trade in the world. And that was the buyback by Raging Potato. They need all of these engagements. And the top lane is getting cut. Puppy they goes to the bottom. Oh, they're gonna try to all in for this. They try and burst him down, but they don't actually hit him. The avalanche covers the ground. And now Midway tops up in the air. Raging Potato made the read. The Chronosphere coming up from the outdoors. Beautiful, but mid walking to get there. Time he runs him over. There goes the lane up before a single spell is cast. And now Nico, baby. He's trying to get the bash out. He's trying to finish up mid one. Can he do it? The bash isn't good enough. Mid one triple kill into the trace. They go. They find another kill. The PA dies. Actually, Mineski are able to get something out of this, but KP, he could stay alive for a the long skewer. time, but it's underneath the tier three. He will fall. Ultra kill for mid one. Secret. You have to be careful against this team. Any. Just a second of weakness. Are they still gonna go for the engagement? Are they gonna think Mineski will be sloppy in their positioning? They hold in the mid lane, waiting for someone to step out a little bit too far. Is that Raging Potato? Is he gonna be the one who steps a little bit too far from his team? Sure enough, telekinesis and a quick assassination by Nisha. But Nico Baby, he's not too far away. Secret. Run to the right instead of running down lane. Oh, that's the Chronosphere! He tells Bennett to catch mid one, jumps to the edge. Nico Baby popped the BKB, but the Chronosphere is sold by Yaptor. Can he turn this around? Last mid one dies! Justin, the Chronosphere fades away. Yaptor, looking to be able to turn this, has the Telekinesis, toss him the air. Yule steps his eye. Immediately throws out the RP, locks down Moon. Who's getting locked? They need a full skewer. Four staff away. BKB activated. Nisha having a hard time. There goes the Chronosphere, but can they do anything about it? Nisha looking to be jumped on the edge and a crit! Stop the lead up. He does have buyback though, and he's just being controlled up. Can Nico Baby actually get the bash? He managed to get the jump away as Maldict on him. Nico Baby doesn't want to overcommit, but he does have the agents with his health and he's still actually died. It's tier three. Lena does not buy back. She could join her team if she wants to in this push. I don't think Moon wants to get into a position where he buys back and they have to race again. That was the Aegis used. They've got a reset off of this. And the Absor once again with the Chrono Steel. The positioning of it was perfect. The toss for the skewer back. KP, can they actually get him? They need another crit to force staff away. Nico Baby looks to be able to slow down Nisha. The Rod of Atos actually gets him in PA. Stuck. KP the starts cast. getting up. Now the paralyzed the cast. Ninja Boogie. What a swing. And Nisha being locked down. He will fall. No buyback there either. 19k gold lead. Three heroes down. Nico Baby going for the melee racks. They're in such a good position right now. All they have to do, take the racks, reset. The storm's about to be alive. Secret, they've got to be careful though. They've got no big spells to defend this with. No RP. In making in that sort of high pressure situation. Cool idea by Yapsor to be able to buy that item. Help them time walk, trying to get the four staff over the other side. But everyone from Mineski is here. And they've just been gifted a kill in Yapsor. When he dies, he dies fast. Yes. And yes, they're going to get does. the instant D ward. Uh, Yapsor was just trying to get out, play some aggressive vision for his team so that they could do something. Oh, this is big. Abyssal Blade now for Nisha. Now when he jumps one of those heroes, maybe the PA, maybe the lead able to work around. Yeah, Dota Plus at this point is saying, are you going to do it? Will this be the one fight? KP. He's got to be on March 4. Telekinesis. Nisha actually chooses to jump and pop in the BKB. Can they blow him up in time with a Fire Blast? Multicast. They will. No buyback there. Oh, they, they got, got the Abyssal! The RP. They the RP! No Chronosphere for Yusta! Mineski! They bobble the fight, and now they're gonna lose four. There's a gem on the ground, too. That's four heroes down. Nico Baby, his hands were up in the air. He was trying to let it go. He was but Nisha go. slaps him in the face, says, no, not here, not oh, today. That couldn't have been more perfect, because then Zai comes in with the... It has been plummeting downwards. 13,000 lead only for Mineski. Experience quite updated yet. almost dead even. But look at this. In top lane, Moon. He's found an opening. He gets a massive one if he can complete the kill on the mid one. He can be a dozen jump away. He gets the kill. But can they force the buyback and not get caught for it? The Ghoul Scepter on the outdoor into the LSA. If they got another kill, Moon, he's going to start backing away a little bit. He's a bit scared. Doesn't have his team behind him, and he knows there could be a buyback for the Storm Spirit. He does not want to let that pick 
be traded away. He got an advantage for his team. That is a massive advantage, too. This is going to allow them to play a high back. But it looks like Secret, they may not be able to get in the pit in time. Honestly, Manaski just taken down so quickly. They're going to be able to get one more back here. Rage of Potato, he does have that Ghost Step. They're protecting for a little bit, but honestly, too much control. They trade out Rage of Potato's life for an Aegis, and that's fine. 70 seconds for the tiny he comes back, but this Aegis will last the five minutes. Well worth it for his death, then. 13k now. They cut it by... Finished two. up the game already. Is is the fear that they will lose this 2-0 against Secret. Causing them all. Hero here. Out of position. And dead. The execute by Yapsor. Trying to get to that Aghanim Scepter. That would be huge for him. Well, if they didn't know about the Laguna Blade steal before, they certainly do now. No buyback for KP, but everyone else in the continuing, like they'll smoke up, they'll try to find a pickoff like this for Raging Potato, but they never go all in. They never give Secret that opportunity. They're gonna go for Puppy here. Chronosphere does manage to catch the after in the back, but it doesn't catch the core. The, the, cool. the, cool the two, the Chronosphere, second time around, they're gonna be able to catch him with the Chronosphere, the after. Can he stop it? Oh, the jump! It hits I, he wins the RP, and now they can the buy back. Here comes the Chronosphere, the long zip in for mid one, not here yet. Now the zip in occurs. But it's a bit too late. Nico Baby's already jumped away. He's going to be able to grab the lead. though the second RP from Sai. Now Nisha jumps in. Wipes out. No fire. Not going to be saved by the Gold Scepter. That's Melina dead. Buyback's already flown out from Maneski. Are they going to use it on Melina as well? They will. Cheese up for KP. He's going to eat it again. Can he survive through all this one? Nico Baby jumping in. But now he gets controlled up. He's going to buy back as well. Now KP. Ultra kill. Ultra kill for Nisha. Now get for it. No one. They're going to be able to catch Rage of Potato. Does have the interior plate onto himself. Ninja Boogie begins to back up. Yule Scepter. They have no buyback on KP. They're going to have no buyback on Rage of Potato. This man, the Rampage. Do you believe in the 10%? Are they going to be able to go down mid and force a three versus five? Unbelievable. They found the double chrono, but Yasuo steals it once again. And the, that was the perfect fight for Mineski. The Mjolnir actually hit Zai, so he can't RP the Void when he walks close. And if you can't do it with two Chronos, what is it going to take at this point? Mineski, I mean, this is a heartbreaking situation oh, for them Ninja right now. Boogie. Look at the spray on the ground. Loser, I've got you, Ninja Boogie. Zai fishes him out. That's another heal without buyback. Moon, Nico, baby. They're the only ones left alive for Mineski. How are they gonna hold? How are they gonna repel the five mana team secret who's now inside their base? And the Dream Chrono. Another tier four gone. Zero seconds. Chrono tears up and he goes for Nisha. He's gonna try and take out the Phantom Assassin as quick as possible. Look at the damage flowing in. The bats are gonna be good enough. He's the dead. It's in buyback though. Puppy gonna be chased. Nico Baby's already blown his BKB. They, the secret. They said Nisha was a fine target. We are still out of again. They're gonna be able to lock down KP. But now short, he dies. KP's up and now the Chrono Spear plays again. away from Nisha. He's trying to finish this up. Die minute to live. They need the buybacks. They need to be able to get Moon. He's going to be able to get the bash. Moon trying to drift away. We're still alive. Up, but I'll have to tell you. He's just this is the fight. Fight. They're They're He's gone. gone. He's dead. Nisha. He's dead. Secret. Dead with three. Dead with three. Yapsor. They don't have a buyback cap. Nico, baby. It won't be deja vu. He can do it. They're going to be able to run down mid. Unbelievable. They actually helped. Mineski, they're gonna go down mid, and this time, Sky Owen right now. HP, two seconds, mid one's almost up, but Nico baby, he's trying to finish up the corner screen to let it go, and do you believe in miracles? Mineski, 1-1, one, one. they've tied up the series, they will go the distance with the number one DP.